I actually have no memory of whether or not I did this, and I'm like annoyed at myself because I don't know. Hey readers, writers, and story lovers, my name is Hannah, I publish as H.S. Paisley, and today we're gonna watch the Honest trailer for Arcade. I'm like low-key in shock. I don't know how I have not watched this before. Let's just watch it and talk about it together as we go. That's usually what I do with Honest Trailers, I think, or I'll chat about it after. But before we jump into this really quick, because it is a short video that I'm watching today, these are my books, Magic Required and Dominion Required. Follow the story of a Celtic demigod as he tries to seek a redemption he is not sure he deserves. Blood, Kin, and Curses is about a girl named Dyson who gets turned into a vampire and has to navigate a world she never knew existed while trying to avoid an ancient curse. I am now an Audible affiliate and you can use my link, Audible audibletrial.com backslash Hannah to get 30 days for free with Audible. With your membership, you get one credit a month along with full access to all of the included titles. You get access to Audible originals and podcasts and a membership price on all of their audiobooks. And they have thousands of titles from business, wellness, celebrity memoirs. You could use your credit even on a bestseller. I love using my credits on bestsellers because they're so expensive otherwise. You can also use that Audible credit to check out two of my three fantasy novels. Hopefully my third one will be on there soon. Magic Required and Dominion Required both have audiobooks and I am currently working on the audiobook for Bloodkin and Curses. If you have been thinking about trying Audible, I encourage you to use my link audibletrial.com backslash Hannah. And then, and then one of my books, one of these, oh not this one, these ones, these ones. Hopefully three soon. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you even more if you've given my books a chance and thank you the most if you have subscribed to my channel and reviewed reviewed my books. Double gold star for you guys. Reviews are super important, especially for independently published authors. So thank you so much for, for doing that if, if you have. And if you haven't, you know, feel free to check the books out. Anyways, okay, let's watch this because I'm annoyed at myself that I haven't. I kind of feel like I, I put it off. I didn't watch it on my own because I wanted to watch it with you guys. And then I forgot about it. But I'm very excited because I have so many thoughts, as you guys know. And I also just like, and I'll talk about it as it comes up. <laughs> Yes. From the guy who wrote Toy Story 2 and an NFT crypto show, so I guess it evens out. Oh, really? Plus two literal news comes a show <laughs> based on the game that taught your 13-year-old cousin all their favorite slurs. Get cancer Arcade, and die? League of Legends. Experience a surprising hit, as in it was a surprise this wasn't crap, with a story <laughs> that goes deeper than punch the other team's crystal until it explodes, and an animation <laughs> style that imagines what if DreamWorks still cared in a show that mixes cyberpunk, steampunk, skatepunk, and punky Brewster to explore the <laughs> eternal struggle Brewster. between tops and bottoms and prove that in any conflict between the elite ruling class and the masses who live in fear and squalor, there are very fine people on both sides. <laughs> Enter a world where everyone is covered in buckles and meet grown up Bratz dolls Vi and Jinx. One is an ex con <laughs> turned narc who reloads her fist like Henry Cavill. <laughs> the other is a manic pixie dream god who bites her lip like Lin Manuel Miranda. You're so cute, don't think I can stand it. Sometimes I dance like you are from a different planet. They may be on opposite sides of a techno magic war, but they're both way too cute to be anything but the heroes. I mean, right? In a show that goes all in on the everyone good is hot while everyone bad is physically deformed trope. Oh. Watch, good, evil, good, evil, <laughs> hot, but one arm, so evil, <laughs> super evil, good. Also, aww. Molly's uh -huh. madcap by Jinx go down in the Undercity. Take the elevator up to Piltover for supply chain issues. The <laughs> series. The Hex gates must remain open. Piltover supply status as a global issues. shipping lane depends on it. Without the Hex gates, my goods cannot reach foreign markets till winter. In this walled paradise <laughs> where magic is like science and science is like CrossFit. <laughs> Science As you is trace like the rise CrossFit. and fall of Jace, a himbo who invents new ways to make the poors work faster. I call the Atlas him. Gauntlets. He's the such mining a I'm so happy that they work faster that. and without fatigue. He'll get seduced by power and maybe his friend Victor too. Okay, <laughs> I am so happy they said that. Okay, I'm just got excited. I want to hear the rest of what they say, but I'm not the only one. They're totally gay for each other. And all you haters are just gonna hate. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Faster. The Atlas Gauntlets. 
<laughs> the mining colonies and the fishers can work faster and without fatigue. He'll get seduced by power, and maybe his friend Victor, too. We're partners. No, no, I, not in front of all of them. Because this show loves it when guys and gals go right up to the edge of being more than pals, but nothing more. You're hot, cupcake. Can't jeopardize that China release. Either that or French animators make everything look sexual. Probably both. So dive in to a sprawling new adventure that's so much better than how it sounds on paper. <coughs> Mixing tons of Easter eggs for game fans. Oh, cool. With fully fleshed out characters and themes. Mm. They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. Mixing prequel level plot lines. Exactly the sort of thing we wanted to fix with Hextech. Not just trade disputes. With anime style action that might as well have them yelling out their attack names. and somehow mixing Imagine Dragons with music you'd actually listen to. <laughs> no, no, that, this, this gym has to be a fluke. Don't push your luck, stupid good video game show. Stupid good video Starring game show. Sister from another resistor. Oh, Mr. S, you are my pudding. The War Loser. <laughs> Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. World's okay as dad. <laughs> Professor Cuddles, MD. <laughs> Mommy Issues. A facts. genius with a cough? Oh, he's screwed. Yo, That's facts! Huge lab. If you do not smoke this, we have a problem. The TVA's number one ranked player, Little I love Buff Echo. Boys. Oh, little Buff Boys. Aww. Do or do not are going to cost you extra that will. And, oh, are they okay? Mom! Bye! Peter! <coughs> Jinx! Lol, what? Lol, what? <laughs> Very unclear how species works in Piltover. Facts. Seems like it's 99.99% .99 human, and then every once in a while there's like one hamster. It must be really hard to date. That was great. I think that was one of the best uh, Honest trailers I've seen in a while. I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was super funny. Hit on some things that I uh, totally agree with. I kind of wish that they had talked a little bit more about the relationship between Vi and Jinx, but I mean, it's for laughs. It's not an actual review. I, yeah, I don't know. It was great. I enjoyed it. Victor and Jace are gay. Deal with it. Victor's a bi himbo. And the haters gonna... Yo, sing it, Taylor. Sing it for me. Sing it for them. Um, I'm excited for season two. Well, that's not true. That's a lie. I'm not excited for season two because I really dislike the way season one ended, but I'm just like, I'll watch it when it comes out, you know? And RIP to episodes one through three that I lost and I will not, hopefully, please, never make that mistake again. Anyways, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Take care of yourselves and each other. That's always easier when you're hydrated. So go get some water because you're probably dehydrated.